Serere is like my hometown. I've been born in Serere. Most of my time actually I was with my grandmother. She kind of has some disease. Most of the time she used to be taken to the hospital. And my dad never used to care. Whenever he gets money, maybe the only thing we'll do is maybe buy food, sends food with someone and goes back to drink. I used to take care of my brother and sister. Because you have to wash the clothes, you have to wash the plates after eating. You have to maybe clean the house so like you're like a mom at home. At the same time, your dad. Maybe if dad doesn't send food, I'd go maybe to the garden. Then I would cook for them, bathe them, carry them back to the house. Before like my brother would try walking. But like, I, I don't know what happened to them really. Like every evening, my dad wouldn't be around. Sometimes I would actually sit with my brother because I used to be so lonely. So like I would come outside and look at the moon. Like that was my normal routine. Then one time, I saw her come over our home. Then coming, I saw it as Mama Lori. They told me that they were going to help me. I think it was God's mercy that you guys came. I used to not go to school before then, and now I'm in grade 7. I can read, and I thank God, and I never knew I'd have such an opportunity. Maybe in future I might get a job, then maybe build a house, invite my brothers and sisters. When I grow up, I'd love to maybe adopt a child, like help that child, like do for her something or him. Then I'd love to be a doctor because I want to help treat others so that they may be healed in Jesus' name. There must be something that I would maybe do for my brother and sister, especially some. That I can also help them through their lives that they may have a better life. A person that would be like me, I'd love to tell that person you should be strong and should have the hope that one time, one day, God will pick out someone and by that person, your Christ may be recovered and God will bless you.